Hi there guys. Okay, so today I want to go through the three fundamentals to sourcing. Now, this is part of the basics to Amazon sourcing campaign that I'm doing. And today is really just talking about what three things you need to consider when you are looking at any deal. So before I go into this, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Thomas Parkinson and I run the UK based Amazon lead service fast track FBA, where you can pick and choose the deals that you want and we show you everything so you can see all the deals that we find and then you pick the ones that work for your business and unlock them you can even create a free account at fasttrackfba.com um, I've also been an Amazon seller for six years or three years sorry and doing six figures every year and while I don't call myself an expert I certainly have learned a few things and a part of these series of videos that I'm doing are around providing value giving back and helping other sellers on their Amazon journey if you like this content give me a big thumbs up I really like that and if you have any questions maybe there's something I haven't covered in enough detail drop me a message down below and obviously I can comment about that and get straight back to you and then finally if you like this and you find it useful for your business and you want to know more obviously when I've got new videos coming out be sure to click subscribe down the bottom here this is going to just really help you in your Amazon business because I'm going to share the top tips that I'm learning throughout my time as an Amazon seller and obviously you'll be able to see them the moment they come live on Amazon but anyway let's get started now so what I'm going to go through today is the three fundamentals that you want to be looking at in any deal now there is a lot to consider in Amazon but when you're looking at any single deal you're going to be looking at three things you know, these are the three main requirements that you're going to be considering. And I'm going to show you today how we can do that manually, so for no cost, but then also introduce you to a tool that we use which speeds up the process considerably. So what I want to go through is these three fundamentals. Now I'll talk through them now and explain why they're super important. So when you're looking at any single deal, whether you're buying something to resell or looking at anything to sell on the Amazon marketplace or generally in, in general, you're going to be looking at these three things and they are quite simply profit. How much profit in cash are you going to make when you sell this product? Return on investment or ROI. What is your return on your investment generally as a percentage of the money you've spent on that product and then finally how many can I sell so how many of these products sell and generally in the Amazon world we talk about sales per month we're talking about how many does this product sell per month so the three things are profit ROI and sales now they're all really important and no one should be taken without the others and the reason is is they give you a very good understanding of what's going on in the in the product and if it's going to be a viable product for you to resell so if I give you an example you might have a product that's making you a lot of money on paper i.e. you look at it it's going to be really profitable but it never sells so actually you're not going to make profit because the product never actually sells and I can find you thousands of these products you might have a product which gives you a great ROI. For example, a 100% ROI. Fantastic, I'm going to put my money in today and I'm going to get 100% back. But it might never sell or the profit might be actually it's just in the pennies. You spend 20p on a product and you're going to get 20p back. And you're like, well, after I brought it, shipped it, sent it in, sold it, do I really want to make 20p? No, that's not really going to be worth it. And then finally, sales. If the product doesn't sell, like I said before, you're not really going to make anything. Or maybe it doesn't sell enough. Or maybe it's actually it's too much of your money invested for a product which rarely sells. So it's really important to look at all three together. So looking at the profit, the return on the investment, and the sales. Now some people might talk about things such as margin, which is okay, and you can look at that. But generally I don't. I'm only looking at my ROI return on investment and the reason why I'm looking at that is for every single pound or every single dollar you are investing today I want to know how much am I going to get back that's it I just want to know if I put one pound in today am I going to get one pound one back or am I going to get two pound back and that's really interesting for me and I'm when I'm looking at any of my deals I'm analyzing those three criteria so today let's go through and have a look at an example deal where we're looking at these criteria and we'll do it manually and also we'll do it with a tool that I use that speeds up the process and just makes my life so much easier. Right, 
So this is a product that maybe you know or you don't know. And on here, it's a Lego a Lego box or a Lego toy. And this product sells really well. It, I think it's ranked uh, number 39. So it's really high up there. So it's the 39 bestseller toy in toys and games. And I think it's the number one bestselling Lego product, which is quite interesting. So this product really sells. Now, I'll talk through in a bit how we might look at some of those figures. And I'll do another video on how to work our sales. But today, what I'm really going to go through are the first two of the three parts. So I'm going to be looking at how to work out profit and your return on your investment. And then I'll do another video which will talk about how to look at your sales. Because we can do that in multiple different ways. And it's quite a lot of in-depth to go through. So let's just do it for the, the free way to start with. When we come in straight away, what we can see here is on the listing, we can see it's currently being sold for $29.99, including VAT. Now for you is to say the easy way to do this is to come up or to come down, sorry, come straight down and come to here where it says ASIN. So it's the Amazon stock identification number and you want to get this ASIN and copy that. And then you want to come over to, we've got here, this is called Amazon Fulfillment or Fulfillment by Amazon Revenue Calculator. So this is a really nice and simple revenue calculator that allows you to see the the products we're selling and or should say the products that you're selling and to work out the profit and loss so what you're looking to do is take that ASIN that you've got put it into the calculator and click search and what it's going to do is it's just going to search these products so it'll tell you here's the product we found etc etc now it gives you two options you can do your fulfillment or Amazon fulfillment now, the majority of everything that I've ever done is Amazon Fulfilled because I think that spending the time doing Merchant Fulfilled isn't where I'm adding value. Doing prepping, shipping, shipping it to the customer for each individual order isn't valuable. I'd much rather ship it into Amazon's warehouses and allow them to deal with these problems or to deal with the shipment to the customer. And hey, they can actually do it cheaper than the majority of the time. Ship, uh, pick, pack and ship cheaper than I can pay for the shipping alone. So it's just not worth me doing. So in here, for example, what we'd put in is the price. So let's just scroll up and have a look. So right here we've got the price right now is $29.99. So we can say it's buying. So we're saying $29.99. And we can put in here fulfillment as well. I'll show that for an example. And then finally, you've got other costs. So here you've got like delivery, how much it would cost to the customer. Well, we're going to be talking about FBA and FBA only. But if you're doing merchant fulfilled, you can put it in there as well. Cost for fulfillment at the moment, Amazon works that all out for you. And then delivery to Amazon. So for me and my business, I know that my delivery cost is 24p to get it from my warehouse into Amazon's FBA warehouse. So I have it, I have products shipped to my warehouse first, where we put them all into big boxes and then we ship them into Amazon. And the cost per item for me is 24p per item. But for you, obviously you can use a figure a little bit larger than that to get a feel. And then finally, the cost of the product. So how much can I buy this for? And let's say for example, I can buy this product today for 10 pounds. I'm gonna put in there 10 pounds. So I'm going to click calculate and now straight away this is going to tell me if I sold this for $29.99 and I buy it for £10 and it costs me 24p to ship to Amazon it's going to be making £11.98 net profit and then I'm going to be getting a margin of $39.95. Now interesting enough this isn't the ROI this is margin so for me what I'm going to do is just get my calculator out and work out so I've invested £10 into this product and I'm gonna oh, so I've invested ten pounds into the product and I'm gonna be making eleven pound ninety eight. Eleven pound ninety eight divided by ten pound is gonna give me an ROI of one point one nine eight or one hundred if I times it by hundred, my ROI is a hundred and nineteen point eight percent. You're like fantastic, that's great. But just be careful. Amazon Calculator is very good at giving you figures, but it doesn't tell you the whole picture. And the thing you need to be really careful here is under Amazon selling fees right here, it's saying you are going to pay a referral fee. This is the fee that you pay to Amazon for the privilege of selling on their platform. This isn't shipping. This isn't logistics. This is solely you want to list on Amazon's platform. You're going to have to pay a fee generally around 15%, but they're saying £4.50. Now that fee, in addition to the Amazon fulfillment fee, which is here, so this monthly storage fee and 
this fulfillment fee, if I can hide that, £2.68, those fees are fees you are going to have to pay to Amazon. But here's the really big but. If you are selling within the European Union, yes, this is the fee that Amazon charges you. But what you need to understand is that on top of this fee, they will add on VAT. In the UK, it's currently 20%, but in Europe, it will be slightly different, depending on the country's VAT setting. And you need to manually calculate that. So this is a, a lot of work to do. And you can kind of guesstimate to say, hey, actually, I'm going to use this free tool that I'm going to provide, and I'm going to go a little bit higher. So maybe, for example, you might be looking for a net margin of 40%. And then that would roughly take into consideration the, the VAT figures. But really for me and my business, I want to know the figures 100%. I want to know everything perfect. So just to be aware, when you're using this free tool, and I'll drop a link down below, is to say that it does tell you the information, but it doesn't tell you everything exactly correct for your fees. So if you, I were to sell this product today on Amazon, yes, I would pay £4.50 for selling fees, and if I sold it for 29 99 and yes, I would be paying this fee down here of £2.68, but in addition to that, I'd have to pay VAT of 20% on top of them as well. So that would eat into my profit. So that could turn a profitable item into a not so profitable item. So just be aware of that. So you can use this tool to work out your profit, great. You can work out your margin straight away and then using a calculator you can work out your ROI. But for me, in my business, I just find this is a little bit too slow, it's a bit too long. I need to be analysing deals fast, fast, fast. Time is money and I don't have time to sit here and go through this. So we use a tool in Fast Track FBA and I've always used it as well called FBA Multi-Tool that I really like. It basically does these calculations really quick for you. And what I'm just going to do is talk you through now. So under FBA Multi-Tool, when you install it, it has information here about sales, buy price, etc, etc. And it looks quite confusing. And don't worry, you can learn about it all in another video that I'll do. But what we're really looking for is this information here, buy price, sell price. So if I, for example, and what I just want to quickly do is make sure my settings are correct. So I put in a fixed fee here, I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to keep in my 24 fixed transit fee, and I'm just going to untick that registered, because me as a seller, I am VAT registered. So let's just turn that off, and I'm going to refresh this page, just so that that actually updates the Chrome extension. So just to let you know, this tool, FBA Multi-Tool, does cost money, and I'll drop a link to it down below if you are interested. So obviously it's something you can use, I use it, and you can use it across multiple PCs, um, and it's really useful and efficient. So what I've just done now is I've moved myself into the middle of the screen so that you can clearly see the FBA Multi-Tool window on the right-hand side. Now, what we've got here is you can see that this product is selling right now for 29 99 and we remember we were buying this product for £10. So what I'm going to do is just come over to the tool and I'm after this in this section down here. This is the calculator section. So I'm just going to put it in there £10. So we're buying it for £10 and we're selling it for £29.99 and I like it because it's automatically filled out for me. I don't even have to worry about that. And when I'm ready, I just click calculate profit. And what it's going to do is it's going to literally just get all the information. So it will get the fees, it will get everything and calculate it for me. And what I can do is I can break this down into more, get more detail about it. So what we've done here is we bought it for £10 and we sold it for £29.99. And we can see that the Amazon referral fee, as shown before, is £4.50. And if I just go back and have a look, we've got the £4.50 here on the referral fee. And then we've got the FBA fee of 268. And if we go back, we can see here the Amazon referral fee is 268. And then also as well, we put my transit cost of 24p. That's been inputted into FBA Multi-Tool. And then finally, what we can see here is added on the VAT, which is interesting. So when we calculated now, we include the VAT, we're going from 11, you know, this is showing 11 pound nine pence. Whereas on the revenue calculator, this is showing 11 pound 98. So there's just something to be aware of to so say that once you start adding in things like the VAT, it does start changing the profit. And what this might do for you is it might change a deal which looks like a deal, you know, it's very close. But once you start on, you know, the Amazon revenue calculator, the moment you add VAT in, it starts now not becoming a deal. It starts going under your criteria. So hence why I find it really important to have a tool which is going to help you. So, but also as well, you can see my ROI. It highlights it quite simply, 110.91%. 
And that means for every one pound I invest, I'm going to get my one pound back and I'm going to get one pound and ten pence profit on top of that. And I'm like, great, that is a fantastic deal. I am happy with that. Also, it does show my margin, but I'm not too interested in my margin. I'm more interested in my ROI because that is for how much money I invest today. Am I going to get back tomorrow? So this tool I find really useful. It really helps me in my Amazon business because it allows me to do those calculations a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently. And for me, time is money and sourcing is where I add value into my Amazon business. And something like FBA Multitool is just super, super efficient to really help that. So for me, I'd be very happy with this. Now you might ask the question, what should you be looking for? And there is no hard and fast answer. It might work for your business. But the general rule of thumb for new beginners, what I generally say is you want to be going no lower than 30% ROI. And you probably want to be looking about three pound profit. So three pound profit, 30% ROI, that's generally what we work to in Fast Track FBA, the lead service that I provide as a, as a good guideline and 30% we never go below but we'll do three pound profit deals and they're the things that as a seller you really want to be looking at anything lower it's not really going to be worth your time it's not going to be worth the ROI but you want to probably be going higher now if you're a seller who's selling a lot more you'll probably know what figures work for you but for me as a VAT Richard seller I might do things where it's one two pound profit and maybe down to 20% ROI if the sales velocity is enough and the reason behind that is how I work with VAT and what happens. And I'm more about fast moving, turning the money rather than trying to get maximized profit per item. So just different techniques, different methodologies you can use. But when you're starting out, generally you want to be looking at getting a good profit, a good ROI. And then my next video I'll do will be on how to calculate the sales. So does a product actually sell? And for you, what you might be looking at as a new beginner, something like three pound profit as a minimum per item and I would probably if you can include your prep fees into that and then in addition to that getting a 30% ROI as a minimum that you're looking for for the deals that you are trying to buy to grow your Amazon business. Hopefully you found that useful and we've talked about the three fundamentals that I look at for any Amazon deal and if you like this kind of information be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I love a good thumbs up. It just tells me it's the right content. If you've got any questions, maybe there's something I haven't covered, or maybe you want me to explain something in a bit more detail, or maybe there's something, you know, your, your criteria that you just want to double check, drop it down below. Let me know, pop some questions down there. And finally, if you're watching this on YouTube and you like this content and you want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe button because obviously the moment this information comes live, you are going to get notified straight away. And that's going to help you in your business, just looking at different parts of your Amazon business and helping them to grow. So, but for me, Thomas Parkinson at Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.